Diesel Garage. I'm Gabe and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to dye your carpet in your vehicle. This is my 94 F-150 and we are going to dye the carpet Kona Brown. I use spray paint. I have used the um, carpet dye before but carpet dye is like $20 a can. This stuff is $7 a can and then if you ever got a nasty stain on your carpet and it's all crusty that's what i've had carpet dye do to carpet for like 20 dollars a can and you would imagine spray paint would do that too but so far it's been soft and fluffy each time i've used spray paint it's held up you have more colors in spray paint more shades and then also there is a spray paint smell for about a week but after that i haven't had any issue with it smelling like spray paint and it's just worked out just fine for me. So without further ado, let's get into the video and I'll show you guys how to do this. Well, first thing on dyeing the carpet on this is we need it all cleaned. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the seats out, pull the floor mats out and vacuum this thing. And then we're gonna tape it all off and paint it. So in here, as you can see, the carpet just kind of old and dingy. So we're gonna paint it. So first thing in order to dye it, is we're going to pull these front seats out we're going to yank the floor mats out and we're going to vacuum it nice and clean so i'll get to doing that So the front seats are out. Now I gotta vacuum this thing. Kinda dirty. Well, the carpet is all vacuumed out. And everything you're seeing there is mostly stains. Um, the interior is pretty dirty. And it's kind of dark. And you can still see there's little bits of debris here and there. So I'm going to wait till tomorrow to vacuum it out really well. Make sure I get all the dog hair and stuff out of there. And before I paint it, I'll probably just wipe the interior out clean all the windows and everything because it's more open right now and that way I'm not have my feet on the floor trying to clean twisting around grinding my feet into the freshly painted or dyed carpet or whatever so probably wipe it all down um, vacuum it out a little better and then I'm going to tape everything off around where I'm going to be painting and then we'll paint it right drift Okay, so I vacuumed it really good now. All you're seeing is just stains. And I wiped the inside windows and cleaned up the dash and door panels and back and everything. So all that's clean. There's still a few little things like I need to get some Q-tips and actually clean deep inside some things. But for the most part, it's all cleaned up. So I'm going to go ahead and tape off the bottom and then paint it. Everything is taped off as far as I'm going to go with it the back corners I'm probably I'll probably spray in there but I'm not gonna tape this thing off I have a metal plate to hold and these corners will hold a metal plate behind them when I paint them so it's all been cleaned up taped off um, the color is gloss Kona uh, brownish color I'm going to paint the back first, then flip the seat and work my way out of the truck. So, let's get started.
Well, here's what it's looking like so far. I still have some lines I need to fill in. And I actually ran out. I'm gonna have to go get more. Once that is all that color, it won't look too bad, I don't think, with the interior. So I'm gonna have to go grab some more paint before I get to the rest of this. Well, it looks like I'll have to do the third can because that's all I got with two cans. And there's still some lines I need to clean up, but it's not looking half bad. So I'm gonna start peeling up the masking tape in here. That got a little bit messy, but I kinda thought it would. So there it is, not half bad. Well, the steering wheel matches the carpet fairly decent. Maybe you guys can see if I set you there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing on here. Man, it's hot. It's on there. Not bad. Well, here's where the interior looks totally finished, other than a little bit of cleaning. There's the original brown floor mats. There's the Kona brown. I also got a brown steering wheel cover for it. And it's pretty well cleaned. I need to replace this piece of trim. I need to do a little deeper cleaning on the vents. I put a floor mat in the back so that takes up most of the view of the brown and I do think I might end up painting these brown if I keep these door panels I might try to find a nicer door panel for the driver is why I haven't painted that brown yet but in my opinion that looks kind of cool so thanks for watching the video I hope you guys enjoyed that and that that was informational for you and all, once again, I appreciate all the support, all the likes, subscribes, and just the comments and everything, guys. It's awesome just hearing from you. That's the reason I make the videos. So thanks once again, and see you next time on Black Diesel Garage.